but expansionists in the United States Congress, led by Senator Morgan, would not let the dream of annexation die. Within days, they devised a plan to bypass the requirements of their own constitution in an effort to annex Hawaii. The Hawaii Annexation Treaty lags in the Senate. The number of votes needed will not come forth. The advocates of the scheme are now preparing to resort to a joint resolution, which may be put through by a simple majority in each House of Congress. In other words, if Congress should strictly obey the Constitution, annexation could not take place. In March of 1898, they introduced Joint Resolution Number 55 to provide for annexing the Hawaiian Islands to the United States. The Joint Resolution, otherwise known as the Newlands Resolution, was then passed by a simple majority in each House of Congress and signed by President McKinley on July 7, 1898. This was the document presented by U.S. Minister Harold Sewell to Sanford Dole at the annexation ceremony in August of 1898. Dole responded, I now yield up to you, representing the government of the United States, the sovereignty and the public property of the Hawaiian Islands. Now the problem here is a joint resolution is not a treaty. A joint resolution is a congressional act. A Congressional Act of the United States can only affect American territory. All we have is an assumption that we were annexed. And now we're finding out that never occurred. We thought we were American. We thought this was America. But nothing has changed. We're still a kingdom, whether we like it or not. All we have today, between 1898 up until the present, is American laws purporting to affect a foreign country. The Hawaiian Kingdom never ceased to exist. Today, nothing has legally changed since January 17, 1893. The laws that existed at that time, the treaties that existed at that time, the relationships with other countries that existed at that time, it's still here today. And what you have today between the United States and Hawaii is not an issue of native rights. It is an issue of international rights and international law and violation of treaties. Those are the issues that are going to be determined, not the internal or domestic affairs of our country. That is our responsibility, not the United States. <laughs>